Wilson lingering fog. It's 7.45, News Extra is next, and here's Kevin Wood. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone, and uh, we hope we're going to inform you a little bit about something maybe a lot of you don't know about, and that is Camp Grace. And uh, we have in today Regional West uh, Pediatric Physical Therapist Karen Donovan, and we also have uh, Jenna Wenchel with us, who looks like she's about a junior in high school and she's really 22 <laughs> uh, today. <laughs> so, uh, I'm definitely 22. Yeah, definitely okay. 22. Well, I might have to look at that driver's license later on. Anyway, um, all right, Karen. So uh, talk about uh, Camp Grace, and then we'll kind of get Jenna in here to talk a little bit about her place, too, and all, how she fits into this. But let's find out about Camp Grace. Well, Camp Grace was conceived by Laura Welchel and then the therapist at the Regional West um, Medical Center um, that see kids as a kind of a sensory camp and an experience for kids that's a little bit more intensive than something they can get in the clinic um, on the farm. So we go actually out to the Welchel farm and spend the day with our therapy kids um, working on activities that would meet their therapy goals, but in a fun and kind of uh, adventurous way. Um, we go one time a month through the summer, um, and um, it's great because there's animals and a lot of really, um, as people with their rural roots know around here, the farm experience is uh, a great experience. Yeah. So. Yeah, we all know how buckboard therapy helps, right. helps people mm -hmm. and yeah. so forth, yeah. so this kind of sounds like something a little bit similar. Right, right. Um, now you guys started this out last year, right? Yes. Last year was our first year, and we did five uh, camps, and it was extremely successful. So we're going to carry on. All right. What type of things do the kids do uh, at the at the camps, for example? Because you have like different theme days uh, here right. you're talking about, and uh, so the kids get to do a lot of different things with the animals, right? Right. Our first um, day in May is our baby animal day, and so the Welchels have um, baby pigs, baby chickens, um, baby and goats. Um, bottle calves, and so we spend the day spending time with these animals and then developing our activities around it. So we usually do some type of craft or art activity um, and then feed all the animals and hold the animals and touch them and spend time doing things with them. Um, and then our second camp was rodeo, or no, pirates and gardening day. So out in the dirt gardening and doing lots of pirate activities. Um, we just had our Rodeo Cowboy Day last Friday, so that was extremely successful. And we have some wonderful cowboys that come and donate their time and spend time riding horses um, for the kids to watch them roping steers. And we had a wonderful bullfighter that brought his bull out for us to see. And um, so that was a great day. Um, next month will be TV Music Day, and then um, we'll have a barn dance fundraiser in September. Yeah. Now people are thinking uh, the bull is coming out, and that's... The kids are riding the bull, that's kind of, but the bull was really like tame, right? He was wonderful. He was an old 13-year-old bull and just stood there for the kids to come in and either um, get their picture taken by him or actually sit on him and um, raise their hand up like they were riding the bull. <laughs> so he was great, and it was a big hit of the day. Yeah. Now you have, uh, what, four therapists involved in this? We do, and then Physical Therapy of the Bluffs also brings some of their kids. So um, we have PT, OT, and Speech. Um, therapists that come out and the kids don't even know they're doing therapy but they they gain a lot in that day that we would take forever to get done in the clinic. Yeah, sounds like fun. All right, we're going to get uh, Jenna in here to talk about her farm and uh, I think she kind of maybe wants to get into this a little bit, uh, it sounds like. So right after this, we'll talk to her. <laughs> And then yeah. at the end, we'll talk about your <coughs> barn dance thing okay. and yeah. how to get how to get involved in it. Okay. People want to do it. Awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. Isn't this neat, though? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. Yeah, the pictures are really great. Um, Laura's mom actually takes the pictures during the day, and she, the, you can just see the I didn't see them. I was at their house last night. I should have Yeah, I haven't. I'm sure, that would have been. Spot yet. I'm sure your mom probably got it done. All right, we are back on uh, News Extra. We're talking to uh, Karen Donovan and uh, Jenna Wenchel. And uh, Karen is a uh, pediatric physical therapist at Regional West Medical Center. We're talking about Camp Grace and how that helps kids with uh, some sensory, with, uh, some sensory uh, uh, dysfunction a little bit and how it helps them with uh, physical therapy. And uh, Jenna is here to 
kind of talk about uh, just your farm and how how you get involved in this. Now you're involved pretty much every day when they when they come to the farm and you help out. Well, yes, I do live in Scottsbluff, but um, I transport some kids over to the camp when we have it, and um, it's just it's good. It's it's awesome. My mom's the one that prepares pretty much everything for the camp. Um, there's certain sp um, therapists that have their theme, so they have to kind of get organized and prepared. But my mom, um, really, and my dad just set everything up really well, and we all come out there, and that's when we do the therapy, and that's when we do the camp. Yeah. So, so this is this has got to be pretty cool when you're out there. Yeah, it is out, really huh? cool. It's 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 pretty inspiring to watch my parents um, work really hard for a goal uh, that everybody's trying to reach for these kids, and so it's been it's been a great adventure. Yeah. Now, the, how did your farm get involved in this? Uh, did, they, did the hospital come to you, or you go to the hospital, or well, how did I that think happen? It's, it's been an idea on my mom's mind for a while, and Karen's, and um, another occupational therapist that used to work at the rehab center. And um, my mom had the space, and I think it's a, a great spot for sensory and um, different needs that kids need to meet. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. So, uh, Talk about you a little bit. We've had John with uh, Rita and so mm -hmm. forth when you were at WNCC. Right. What are you, what are you going to do now? I'm going to go to Shadron. I just graduated from WNCC. And I'm kind of sad to go, but um, I will be in Shadron and I'll be working on my physical therapy degree there. And yeah. hopefully UNMC after that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a good path. No I question hope about so. it. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Shadron will be a little different than WNCC. It although might it's. Be. Not yes. that, not that's really a very homey place. Right? Yes, there's no show choir. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Karen, let's talk about the last Friday that you have this every year. It's, it's a barn dance thing. Uh, that's kind of a fundraiser, right? Yes, and so it gives, our kids all come with their families and their extended families, and then we also sell tickets for a uh, barbecue, which is pulled pork sandwiches and ranch-style beans and chips and watermelon brownies and great food. Um, so we all sell tickets and, and people can come. We're going to have music this year by the Green Valley Homesteaders and um, people can dance. Um, we have uh, DVDs for the kids with all the pictures from the year on it for them and um, it's just an awesome time to just bring the family to the farm and, and have a good farm experience. You can come see all the animals and see what the kids do. It's really fun. The teepee will be up. So well, it's, it's a good time. Yeah. So if uh People have uh, children that want to get involved in this, and it's pretty much uh, three and up. Mm -hmm. um, how do they get a hold of you? Just over at the rehab center? Right. They can um, call the rehab center and ask for Karen, or um, they can call Physical Therapy of the Bless and ask for Michelle. Um, and then uh, we are, last year our barn dance was sponsored by um, Clean Harbors, um, and they may do that again this year, but we're looking for sponsors and we're looking for. Um, also for volunteers for our camp. So um, junior, senior, high school kids and, and college age kids, if they're interested in, in having this experience, we welcome them for as volunteers. So they can also give me a call there at the Recap Center. All right, that's great. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in. It's a great project. It's wonderful. Thank you. It's Thank you fun. very much. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, back to you, Dan. Okay, good deal. Good.